It's like I want to show people who I am. What I'm capable of. Showing everyone. This is me. Usually in schools when we meet them for the first time, these are really students who are more quiet, the reserved type. I guess largely because these are the students na when you're in high school, they're not really the type of students who excel in math, science. And that's one of the big reasons why they actually love this place because it's a place wherein, for the first time probably in their lives, their unique set of interests and passion are actually recognized and encouraged. I told my mom that I was the first time I was going to draw because I was going to write. I really loved drawing when I was still two years old. So we started scribbling, actually, not on paper, but the walls of our house. I was playing you know, Final Fantasy VIII and then I fell in love with the art. I said to myself, I want my art to be in form of a game. I was in high school. I was able to shoot the video. I used a cell phone as a cell phone. They know that they have this instinct talents. They are very innovative, very artistic. We basically want students who have the passion to make games, create websites, to design posters, anything to do with digital arts. We want them to be given the opportunity to turn these passions of theirs into their future lifelong careers. Back then, I didn't know much about these computer things. And then I just realized one day I was in my house, I was just typing away codes and I was just practicing and then came to me, oh my god, I know what I'm doing, I actually know what I'm doing, I actually want to do this. Through the months and through the years that they were given all this knowledge and they were able to shine. We get a lot of different students from uh, all over. Eh? That's the thing with uh, students who are innately artistic. Right? You can't really tell them what to wear or you know how to act. And it's uh, it's also a venue that the students are able to you know express themselves. Basically, si IT tinulong nila ako ng paano maging professional. Kung anong ginagawa ng mga real programmers outside the real world, hindi lang din sa loob ng classroom. Very challenging yung mga lectures, yung activities, yung problems na binibigay nila. A lot of companies actually approach the IIT because they really need a lot of artists these days. Especially with the advent of the digital age, there definitely will be a larger need for artists who can transfer their works from traditional to digital format. What we try to do in CIIT is actually harness that talent and bring it to the next level to be to make it truly world class. It changed me a lot of ways. Thinking of the self as artist, the skills of the self, mas na mold siya and mas na open ako sa different styles. I know that I do belong here. I have so many friends in here that actually accept me for who I am. I'm more confident now in what I'm doing. If it weren't for CIIT, I wouldn't pursue this career. Because back then, I was afraid to show my artwork. I was like, I wasn't ready. But now, when I was in CIIT, I felt like it was okay to show it out. I was more confident to show it out. Before, I was afraid to communicate with my clients. I have clients who want to do this. And I was like, 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 They would really give me clients, and then they would teach me how to deal with them properly. It's really, really fun. It's 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 been the most awesome roller coaster ride of my life. CIT helped me grow a lot. It's like from a little seedling to a small trunk that still has more to learn. Here, we believe that imagination is better than knowledge. All the education is not worth learning if it doesn't serve a greater good. And for us. Art really is the tool to bring what you know and what you learn forward.